Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET and today I am going to teach you uh, what is the rental system works actually. So here we have uh, just I am going to go for the start processing as well as the cancel order. Before doing this start processing and the cancel order, I have a new ideas in just uh, got it that is to add a new user detail right there. So uh, just go for the code and uh, go for your admin accounts like that. And here we have uh, this user controller. And just I want to add a new user controller right there. So uh, first of all, add a new user controller. So controller is like that. So make it stop it here. And add a new user controller. So the name of the controller is users controller. And only admin can see the all of the users. So here we have just use authorize and is in the admin role. So here we have, you know that here we have a utility folder and here we have a repositories inside it where we have a fixed detail page so just i'm going to add authorize Oops. and inside it you can take roles is admin okay so before doing this fix detail dot admin role okay so here we have this is the role of admin role so okay here we have so just i'm going to get all the members right there so only the authorize uh, attribute is working right there so just i'm going to add a new interface uh, right there infrastructure that is the user service so here we have a user services already there just i want to get get application user here we have single user just i want to get it here on the basis of the user id okay so just go for the implementation detail and you notice that go for the implementation get application user here we have context dot application users dot where user id is like that so get the application user on the basis of the user id just I want to get uh, application a list of the application user. So here we have possible type events. I mean level of application user and get application user async on the basis of the string admin ID. Okay. Now just I want to put it there and user control and just I want to get a sync and taskable type event where users but uh, here we have just not uh, using user service right there so private read only and I user service underscore user service just I'm going to add that's right there generate constructor okay and here we have uh, add users so just I'm going to add a list of the users right there so await underscore user service start get application user async and here we have the user ID so just get the user ID on the basis of the claims, claims identity. Here we have claims identity, user dot identity, and just I'm going to add the claims 
same site identity dot find first same types dot name identifier dot a value right there so here we have just use plain dot value okay so here we have users get the all users like that so here we have a i number type of application user right there so just pass it there and if you want to get uh, basic information about the user so just you can use a view model because there is the application user so here we have a uh, utility mapper and all these things so vehicle profile is there here we have so just i want to add uh, just i want to add a view model for that but uh, you know that a models is there view models is there and here we have users so just create a new application folder application user view models and here I'm just going to add user view model dot CS. Okay, so here I'm going to add user ID. So prop string ID. user id and uh, so i want to get uh, that is the user id actually on the basis of so uh, just i want to get username so string username okay and uh, here we have just email also so just string email and just i want to convert it in the view model so we will profile is here just i want to convert it so just create map so here we have a create map and just i want to convert uh, it from application user to user view model okay but the destination type is dot form member and here we have user id so the destination type is dest dot oops dot user id is mapped from map from src and src dot id this is the mapping from the id from the user id okay so this is the uh, basic terms to convert it from the user model to view model so just uh, go for the users controller and just map and here i'm going to use imapper right here so private read only i mapper underscore mapper and here i am going to add mapper add parameters to users controller so here we have user view model is to underscore mapper dot map i numerable type of user view model users to user view model that is the pass that is the users and just i want to convert it into the users view model okay so you can just use list instead of users view model so just i'm going to pass user view model right here 
here we have and I'm going to use index view add view razor view add it and here we have an index view and just I'm going to use a list of users as I want to show it and here we have a model class that is user view model so select user view model and just go to add it here <coughs> so here we have a, a list of the users so just replace the index with the list of users okay and just I'm going to add uh, here we have a create new so there is a no options for the create new so just remove this here user ID username and the email and also here we have some options for the getting the ID values so edit uh, there is a no options for the edit users so there is no options but just I'm going to add details instead of uh, delete uh, just I want to uh, <coughs> log the user as well as unlock the user so here I'm going to just add HTML helpers, inbuilt HTML tags. So just make it uh, first of all comment it. And here we have just add a anchor egg. And the class is btn, btn info. And here I'm going to add ASP action that is details and ASP route ID. is and then it item dot id user id and that's fine now just use detail okay so here we have a details of the user just i want to update user details and uh, the next one is the lock user and lock user also facilities available so lock user and unlock user unlock user so the action is lock and there is unlock Okay, now just after that, I want to implement the repository. Uh, there is a repository that get application user async. So just right click on it and go to for implementation and implement that features right there. So for users and underscore contacts dot application users dot where x dot xid is not equals to admin id. So you can just get all these users from the uh, uh, database and after that you have to return task dot from result uh, users dot as enumerable or you can see just uh, you can use a wait like that and here we have to list async okay and here we have list of users just I want to get it here and return users. Okay, make a method as async and that's fine now after that we will go for the users controller as well and here we have a wait keyword and after that you will go for your value but before going for the detail that is layout.css.html file and here we have action there is orders there is a card user is in role that is customer user is in role that is admin so uh, here we have just copy and paste your orders instead of users
index ASP.NET controller that is a user's controller. ESP area is admin and method is index. After that, we will go for the run. And you will see that uh, that is the result is going for expected. And just here we have hello admin and here you can see that there is a list of users and here we have a list of users like that that is the open connections that is not locked in any users like right there and if you want to update the user details like that Rahul Amit like that and just I want to click on the details button that information will be updated okay so just go for this and create a new model in the project that is user details here we have user details dot cs and in which you can just add user id so prop integer id and here we have prop user detail so here we have application user and here we have just uh, add a string value so string user id that is not mapped with your application user so here we have one to one detail just i want to get it here so uh, this time i'm going to add public string driving license number prop string uh, id proof okay id proof you uh okay photo photo uh proof id okay so photo proof id is the documentation right there so here we have a string uh, driving license, prof, uh, a photo proof ID and user ID. Uh, okay, so just assign to the user ID as well as the driving license. Okay, that's fine. Now uh, it's a required attribute. So also a required, also make it required. And these are also required. And here we have just stop these things. And just I want to take a web in the www root folder. Here we have just add driving license. So here we have DL photo that is driving license photo. And here we have just add photo proof. that is user photo uh, okay so that is id photo okay so here we have a id photo and dl photo is there so both are actually related to the users that is the documentation proof okay and also we have to update the phone number as well string both are required and that's also required
and that table is actually not mapped with any one table so user uh, detail and just go for the repository section right there application detail our context and here we have just add user detail right there okay now save this and go for the migration add as migration and update user detail oops the migration is not happening with the uh, vehicle rental or vehicle rental project or path because that is the default one so just make two sense that is change it here wait for some times it will take uh, time okay now after that we will make some changes okay and after that we will go for update database Okay, so pretty good and you will see uh, the output. Okay, so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to ASP.NET card and uh, much more detail that is the next video we will go for the vehicle rental system where we have to uh, apply the search options uh, for the vehicle as well as uh, just apply uh, some other options to the admin. Thank you very much for watching.